So Phil, uh, why do you think it's important to engage and educate young people about different types of cooperatives? I think it's because um, you know, a co-op is a particularly special way of you know, organising things, whether that's in business or you know, in, in other ways as well. Particularly in business, if I think about you know, co-ops that operate in, in different businesses, um, if you go to most um, schools or you look at most uh, colleges or universities and you look at the curriculum for business and how they teach uh, young people about business, they talk about you know, different types of businesses and you know, PLCs or privately owned businesses. They don't talk about co-ops, um, and it's a frustration because a, you know a cooperative is a is a unique and different way of doing business. And of course, what usually makes it different is that most organisations will say their most important um, people, or their most important stakeholders, are their customers. Invariably, they're not the most important people are their owners, whether that's you know shareholders uh, or whether it's the private owners. Um, but of course, in a cooperative, the customers and the owners are one of the same. And that's, that's part of the uniqueness, and I think that means that people um, are more likely to work together. And I think if you think about our uh, DOES values, you know, democracy, openness, equality, social responsibility, those are things that are really precious to us. And all organisations will talk about these things, but I think in a co-op, the difference is because the owners, the customers, the colleagues are all one of the same, um, it, it means you make those commitments to each other. So I think getting that message across to young people uh, and helping to understand what what the differences are is really really important. Particularly if we want to encourage um, more people, not just to join the organisation, but to actively take part mm. in it and to play their part and make and take full advantage of uh, of the values I've just talked about. Perfect. And why do you think it's important for young people to be part of the Young Cooperators Network? I think I mean first and foremost, I'd say it's it's a brilliant network. I think it's 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 a it's a great initiative, uh, and you know I can see how it can really start to make a difference and transform the way that we work as an organisation. So uh, we want fresh ideas, we want fresh thinking, we want that energy. Um, that you know, I'm not suggesting that people that aren't aged between 16 and 30 haven't got any energy or enthusiasm, but but you know I think. That age group, there's a there's a there's a, a dynamic there, and there's a uh, an open-mindedness which I think we really benefit from. So it's it's important for the organisation to attract young people in. The the young cooperation network gives us a, a framework to do that. You know, it gives you gives you the opportunity to understand how you can do it through a framework, through a structure that otherwise would be would mean that it would be more ad hoc. So I think it's really important for. Uh, young corporates to take advantage of it because it is that framework. It does mean that your voice will be heard and you, you can understand the mechanisms that you can utilise to, to make a difference. Uh, and this organisation will allow people to make a difference regardless of age or background as I said earlier and therefore it's a, it's a brilliant uh, opportunity for people aged between 16 and, uh, and 30 to do that. Perfect, thank you. And just finally, where do you see uh, the YCN in the next five years? Well, growing, I think, you know, I see it very much growing. I think the more we make people aware of it and the opportunity, um, the more people will join it. So I expect to see it grow. Um, I expect to see it playing uh, an ever more uh, integral role in the way we shape the organisation for the future, you know, because I said just before we were talking the last three days about the next five years, and in doing so, you know, this is an insights-led process. We are very much interested in what people have to say, what they think, whether that's you know our members, our colleagues, other organisations, and young people have a really important part to play in that because if we're going to look even further out in five years, maybe ten years, fifteen years, twenty years, um, then it's very much their future we're looking at. Mm. And so to have that active involvement is really really important. Um, and I think also because I said you you know we bring fresh ideas, so I, I would expect to see it becoming more involved. Um, having more opportunity to get more involved and who knows that may extend to sort of formal representation on, on the board for example and I'll probably get into trouble for saying that because it's a, but, but you know if you could see an opportunity in the future where the young corporate uh, network could, could elect someone to sit on the board and really represent that, uh, that generation in a way that perhaps we're not, we're not doing it today. Perfect, thank you very much.